kind of feel we haven't done a old school tear down for a while and unfortunately the reason is I've got certain objects like this really quite nice battery uh, doodad and uh, it's too good to tear down <laughs> and it, it doesn't lend itself a tearing down because it's really well made so that's reserved for a project although I might tear it down if I want to maybe recase that so we'll cover that later but um, I did find this this <laughs> is a really really clearly amazingly high quality mp3 player and you will ask in this day and age Andrew why do we have mp3 players we don't need them um, the reason is they're cheap right and if you're a hobbyist they're probably a good way of building something to automatically play some sounds or music so if you've got for example in your garden you wanted a rock that plays music for argument's sake it's going to cost you a reasonable amount of money and I'll show you how you do it normally you have to use something like this so these are various chipset boards that use um, either flash memory like that or they use micro SD cards and they are basically codecs so the chip will access the FAT the file allocation table the data on the card basically and just play the sound out through some of these pins and it's got some sort of nasty-ish amplifier and really simple protocol for next previous in fact most of these functions yeah now the downside is it's actually quite complicated to read the file allocation table and stuff like that from a SD card. So when you build a discrete module like this, they've put a reasonable amount of work into them. So they're really expensive. Um, so those could set you back a few quid each, maybe a fiver each or something. And they only work sometimes with any particular size SD cards and formats. Whereas these, these guys don't care. They don't pay royalties to anybody. They don't uh, pay Microsoft for the fat file system on their chip. So they can just uh, basically make it for nothing and then sell it for nothing. So that's why they work out a lot cheaper than those modules. So I'm just trying to see if I can find an edge. It's, it's kind of like, I think, a sticker. I think it's the whole front is going to be a sticker. And it's still got the even the shiny paper on it. So I don't want to really ruin this because this might be really nice for running. There we go. I'm not sure this is what we want actually, but it'll keep going. I'm going to go work my way around the edge though of the sticker because I don't really want to ruin the sticker, put a kink in it because that's going to ruin it. Ah, look, 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 it's bringing up PCB as it's coming. Nice. It's not only, it's, it's acting as my PCB extracting system right now. There we go. Got me an edge. That's quite well made. I like that. Very nice. So there are your five, five buttons for your five functions. Of course, play, pause, plus, minus, next track, previous track. And it does actually say on here, V plus, V minus, prev, next, and PP, which it would be play, pause. Wow, I got that one right. On, off button on the side, marvelous. Oh, it does flash a red LED when it's on. So, and it does sound obvious I'm saying it, it must have a battery inside, but clearly it must have had a battery inside because it wasn't powered by the kinetic energy of you walking around. Did you see that? I accidentally almost just lost, lifted the leaf there. So, because this headphone sticks out and this USB sticks out, I suppose it must have been quite the interference fit to get it in there and I can see the PCB bending as I'm doing it so it's a really thin PCB <sighs> that's okay I think that was just the sound of something coming undone rather than coming and breaking apart ah and that's it that is all she wrote nice little battery there gorgeous and that looks like quite a good SD card slot. It might even be spring-loaded, mm, which would be unusual, but fine. First thing you notice on this board, guys and girls, what is it? Absolutely nothing on the board. It's really cool. So you've got like your USB coming in here. And I get it's going to be going through this diode and whatnot. You've got your power switch. The diode, um, signal diode, fine. There's really nothing on the audio circuitry. So this chip is doing the battery charging, 
the amplification for the headphones and the mp3 decoding and the file access to the card all in one convenient package and I'm desperate to see if I can read that number off because that is a very very interesting chip if you're a hobbyist um, okay I can kind of see a number guys it looks like a JL and it might be an AB1547 CG875 J point one dash eight three e I'm gonna try again a b one five four seven c g eight seven five dot j dot one dash eight three e by j l groovy yeah um i'm kind of uh impressed i don't know if you guys at home are actually impressed with that i mean it's not uh Maybe it's not the uh, in thing to be impressed with these days. MP3 player. Pah! Who uses that ye oldy tech? This isn't medieval times. But uh, yeah, I think it's very, it's really cool though just to see the level of integration on something that is literally, when you go to the shops, go on eBay, you will buy this whole thing, I suspect, for literally one or two pounds. It's just unbelievable. We live in the future that's something you guys don't really a lot of people don't appreciate we um people are trying to you know allow humans to live longer to do this and that and the other but we've done that we're doing it right now guys just marvel at where we are in society right now i know we've got our ups and downs but phew, you are living in star trek right now you were living in Star Trek. You can quote me on that. You're living in Star Trek on a graphics tee. So that's it, all assembled. I uh, don't like to break a working item, so I like to see it go back together again. And that's very satisfactory. Charging cable, everything there. Hope you've liked this video. Please like, share, and subscribe if you're that way inclined. If you don't like this video, feel free to hit dislike. But either way, please leave a comment down below and let's talk about it. As ever, thanks for watching. Mm, yeah, finger guns. Bye-bye.